Hi everyone, and welcome to this first look at the Water Blast public testing update for Oxygen Not Included. This is only a small update, but introduces some really interesting new things. It's currently an open beta, but updates like this have gone live only a couple of weeks after their first test. This update has two main things, a new story trait for making fossil, and a new system for dealing with meteor showers. As always, you can find the full notes on the Clay forums, and I've put the link in the description. There are a number of additional small fixes too, which is always welcome. But the first thing I wanted to quickly touch on is the playtime-based cosmetic drops. These seem to be working very similar to Don't Starve Together, where once you've been playing for a while, you'll get a new drop. I'm not exactly sure how long you'll need to be playing to get a new one, but free cosmetics are always welcome. Now let's get into the big new additions, starting with the Ancient Specimen Story Trait. As with the other traits, you'll need it enabled when starting a game. This then adds four large fossils to the map that you'll have to reach and excavate. These are the main fossil site, the Amber Fossil, Petrified Fossil, and Frozen Fossil. Excavating these requires the Tier 3 Masterworks Artist skill and when completed will drop 4,000 kilograms of fossil. Currently the main fossil site has temporary artwork, so expect that to be updated soon. There are also smaller fossils that can be excavated to drop 1,500 kilograms of fossil. But once all four are excavated, an ancient collar artifact is dropped at the main site, and the main site now becomes available to convert diamond into fossil. It takes 10 kilograms of diamond to make 100 kilograms of fossil, and at this conversion rate, a positive, renewable cycle is possible. Crushing the fossil in the rock crusher gives 5 kilograms of lime, but also 95 kilograms of sedimentary rock. Of course, this can be fed to hatches, or stone hatches, since feeding this to hatches will make stone hatches anyway, to make coal at half of the mass. 20% is then lost when converting this to refined carbon in the kiln, but this can be completely converted back to diamond with the diamond press. What this means is that we get the 10 kilograms back, but also an extra 28 kilograms of diamond. So this is now an unlimited cycle of free lime and diamond, only requiring a hatch ranch and enough rad bolt generation to run the diamond press. So very useful. And that moves us on to the second big addition of the update, which is about meteor showers. There's now a game option to change the frequency of meteor showers. I've tried this out on maximum, and as far as I can tell, it doesn't add meteor showers to the planetoids that didn't have them before, like the main planetoid in the Space Out DLC. The really cool addition though is the Meteor Blaster, which does what it says on the tin and blasts meteors. It currently also has temporary artwork. The Meteor Blaster has a radius of 16 tiles, and will destroy any meteor that enters this range with a cool firework-like animation. Note that blasting a meteor like this destroys any material that would have been collectible if it had impacted. Now to use this, it needs a supply of ammunition, in this case, a new item called Blast Shot. This can be supplied manually, or with a conveyor rail input on the building. And on the topic of making Blast Shot, this is done in the new Blast Shot Maker building. To use this building requires a new pyrotechnic skill, found at the bottom of the tree as a tier 3 skill after the plumbing skill. The building itself requires 5 kilograms of either refined aluminium, cobalt, copper or iron, and 10 kilograms of petroleum supplied by a pipe input, to make one unit of blast shot. Overall, this system gives a very useful way of protecting against meteor showers, likely replacing bunker doors, especially for rocket access areas. Then the rest of the map can be left with bunker tiles to collect any regolith or space metal. Bunker doors would still be useful to automate this collection though, if desired. And that's it for the main content in the Water Blast update for Oxygen Not Included. I hope you found this interesting, and thanks for watching.